How do we find this one solution? Well, we can find it using either of these resulting matrices we got doing the elimination process. Remember, the columns of these matrices are associated with the variables x, y, and z of our initial system of equations. The first column of the result is associated with x, the second column of the result is associated with y, the third column of the result is associated with z, In the column to the right of the dotted line is what each of those rows will be set equal to. Looking at this system on the bottom, we see 0 multiplied by a lot of different variables. All of these we know are equal to 0, and so we can reduce this bottom system of equations to this. Notice, this gives us the unique solution. The top row tells us that x equals 1, the second row tells us that y equals 2, and the third row tells us that z equals 3. Similarly, this top system will get us the same result. Starting with the bottom row, we see that 13z equals 39. Dividing by 13 on both sides, we get z equals 3. Going up to the next row, we have 7y minus 14z equals negative 28. But we already know z equals 3, so we have 7y minus 14 times 3 equals negative 28. This gives us 7y minus 42 equals negative 28. Add 42 to both sides and we get 7y equals 14. Dividing by 7 gets us y equals 2. Finally, for our top equation, we can sub y equals 2 and z equals 3 into it since we've already found those two variables. This will give us 2x minus 4 plus 15 equals 13, which is 2x plus 11 equals 13. Subtracting 11 on both sides, we get 2x equals 2. Dividing by 2, we get x equals 1. This process on the left is called back substitution. So, x equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 3 is the unique solution for our initial system of equations. To check that it satisfies the system, we plug these three values into the original system of equations. So we plug 1 in for x, 2 in for y, and 3 in for z. We check that when we simplify this now, that the left-hand side of the equations is equal to the right-hand side of the equation. It looks like for all three equations, both sides are equal. So, x equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 3 is the only solution to this system of equations.